The other thing you need to know about Germany at this time is that much of the rule was largely split between two great royal houses of the Germans. Up in the north, in Prussia, it was the Hohenzollern house that largely controlled power, whereas in more southern realms of Germany, it was the old and powerful family of the Habsburgs, a family we've talked about several times throughout this series. But still, uh, Prussia realized that there had to be growth for itself. It looked to itself to actually attain new glories. And so Bismarck had this to say about this idea. He said, not by speeches and majority votes are the great questions of the day decided. That was the great error of 1848 and 1849. But they are decided by blood and iron. So Bismarck gained power and made Prussia rule of the Germanies through war. In 1864, through war with Denmark, Prussia added Schleswig and Holstein to its realm. In 1866, through war with Austria, Prussia added Hanover and Frankfurt. Then, in 1870, through war with France, Prussia added the Alsace-Lorraine and even captured Napoleon III, who had come to power back in 1848. In fact, it's curious, after he was captured, the French once again went into revolution. This would be revolution number four, got rid of Napoleon III, and the Third Republic, as it was known, came into being. But still, Prussia had finally succeeded in taking over most of the Germanies. In fact, after they beat France, they not only beat France and captured Napoleon III, they actually invaded France and captured the city of Paris. And there, on the day January 18th in 1871, Bismarck, at the Palace of Versailles, declared the new German Empire with the Prussian emperor ruling as emperor over all of Germany, having full control of its military, full control of its foreign policy. And even though there were various congresses and legislative bodies, they largely answered to the new emperor. In fact, only a few German states actually escaped the unification of the rest of the Germanies. These were states such as Austria, still controlled by the Habsburgs, a state such as Liechtenstein and Luxembourg, states you'll still see on the modern-day map of Europe. But of course, throughout the World Wars, and especially World War II, these states would be attempted uh, to be absorbed back into a great German empire, the Third Reich. But of course, that's a tale for a future lesson.